Hello and welcome back to Sky Factory 1 episode 2. We are pretty much picking up from where we left off in the last episode. I think I've done a little bit of work off camera. I can't honestly even remember. But I just know that we have a lot of seeds in here that we need to take care of. In fact, we have a lot of stuff we need to take care of. One of them I am very, very excited about. Because so far the only way for us to get stone has been to convert these stone pebbles into cobblestone. Right? Well, that's not very efficient. That is why we will be making, I thought I'd bookmarked it, these things right here, the cobble gen. And we can actually make multiple different tiers of this. The tier one is made with wood, compressed cobble, glass, water buckets, redstone, dust. We should be able to pull this off. I'm not a 100% sure because of the redstone now that I look at it. We should be able to get the, the iron as well and the lava, which we will be working towards. But the goal of today's episode will be to get one of these uh, cobblestone generators because that is something that would be very very nice to have so that is the goal for today for that we would need redstone as well as lava now I know how to get lava the question is the iron so let's go to iron here and let's see what we can smelt iron dust iron ore chunk which is what we will be trying to get with these iron ore pieces which I believe I should have some of okay i have five and we get these from both sand gravel and dust i don't know oh it says drop chance one is 20 percent chance 20 percent and 20 percent so basically sand gravel or dust will have a 20 percent chance of giving us an iron ore and a 12.5 percent chance of restore dust like gravel has a 1.5 percent chance of diamond wow Okay, so I basically need to... Yeah, it looks like dust is the best thing for me to to go through the sieve because, yeah, we get gunpowder, we get redstone, and we get iron ore. Yeah, I think, I think that will be the play. Now, of course, for that, I will be needing a bunch... Ow. Okay, they, sometimes they grow really, really fast, <laughs> which can both be a good thing and also a bad thing. But yes, this does mean that I will be needing a bunch of dirt which I can then well turn into stone and then I can turn into gravel which I can then turn into sand which I can then turn into dust you get the idea one of the things that we do need to make though is an unfired crucible this will be used to make lava because with an unfired crucible we can smelt that or burn it and then we get a fired crucible which we can use to get well, you guessed it, lava. So any kind of stone in here will turn into lava if the crucible is placed on top of a torch. So in order to make that, I need porcelain clay, which I use bone meal to get clay. And I don't remember how to get bone meal from dust. Okay, so dust is definitely the thing that I need to break down. So I basically need to place out a bunch of cobblestone, break it with my hammer, break the gravel with my hammer again, and then break the sand with my hammer into dust. And I'm actually going to take this oak sieve and I'm going to put it more centralized, maybe right here. Because we will, I think we will be using this quite a lot. And let's sleep because the night, it's a little bit creepy. A little bit creepy. It's not. All right, perfect. And now I just gotta sieve this dust. Oh, we already got iron and a redstone as well. And another iron. Okay, this is good. This is definite. And that was a bone meal right there, I believe. And out of that, we got a bunch of bone meal. I don't, I don't recall how much we had there. Tin ore, seven iron ore, gunpowder, and redstone. Very, very good. We already have five redstone in here, so that is actually not too bad. Now, what I need next, I think, is gonna be a furnace. So let's go ahead and craft our first furnace right here, which I'm gonna place right there. And... Now, the only thing is I do not have coal, but obviously that is not an issue whatsoever. I'm going to cook some of these logs into charcoal. We also need this compressed cobblestone, which is actually a lot of... Co actually, now that I see it, it's not that bad. Nine plus nine. Basically, we need this compressed cobble, so that is just 81 cobble. That's not too bad. That is pretty easy to get. But this does mean that I will need to get access to more leaves and organic material for the barrel to turn into dirt. I wonder if there is another dirt recipe. Let's take a look here. So in the compost, we can put basically anything compostable. Wait a minute, you can put in string? Hold on, what? I didn't... You could use string. 
Okay, string just got a whole new purpose. I didn't know it was I didn't know that was doable. Right. Okay, this is gonna be very efficient now because here's what I'm gonna do, right? Before I was just taking the leaves and then taking the saplings and converting the saplings into dirt. But that's not, I don't think anyway, the most effective way. Most effective way would be to grow the trees and then infect the leaves with silkworms. Let the silkworms take over, get all the string because you get a lot. I don't know how, how much did it, how much did it give? Um, was that like here? So it's only 40, but we get, we get quite a lot if we infest this whole thing with silkworms. That is huge news right there. We still have a bunch of string in here. And as you can see, we are making quite a lot of dirt. So this is great. All right, next I need one of these. I will probably be needing two. What I can do is just go ahead and look at all that string. That's like, that's four stacks right there. Plus we get even more silkworms back. Okay, this is so much more efficient than what I was doing before. I thought I tried string, but clearly I didn't try it very well. <laughs> because this is amazing. My inventory is pretty much full with silkworms and string. Look at that. That's just from one tree harvest. And I can put some of the silkworms in there as well. All right, well, I don't think there is much else for me to do other than keep doing this, obviously. Um, keep infecting the trees. And I think for this as well, that the birch trees are probably one of the best trees to use for this. But yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this for quite a while until we have a bunch of dirt and I'm gonna convert all the dirt into uh, stone and then into gravel and then into sand. And then after that, I will be back once I have the materials that we need to make this thing. Because having this just in the background running will be pretty, pretty useful. All right, a little bit of time has passed and I have actually gotten a lot of work done, but something unfortunate did happen. Yep, I died. So I was unfortunately not recording, but as you can see, I was expanding the platform here, but I didn't have these torches here to begin with. So it was nighttime and I was chopping trees Two skeletons and a zombie spawned, and me with no armor and a stone axe. Yeah, I died. <laughs> but other than that, I have done a lot of research and also gotten almost two stacks of dirt. Now in my inventory, as you can see, I now have seven porcelain clay, which we can then turn into this unfired crucible. But you may also notice that I have an iron ingot here and some smooth stone. And that is because I have discovered the plain grinder. And this can be used to crush certain things. First of all, it can crush ore, these ore chunks into dust. So we can actually multiply our result. Because if we were to smell that ore, we, ore, we would just get an ingot. But if we crush it first, we get the dust, which is absolutely amazing. So that is a must, but it can also crush cobblestone into gravel and it can crush gravel into sand and sand into dust. So I will be making this because before I had to use this hammer, but now I can actually make this plane grinder and it's actually very easy to make. So I think we will be going ahead and making that right off the bat. And if I could do the recipe right, place below a handle to fill with ore. So this is a plane grinder. And then we have the grind handle, which is also very easy to make. And I'm not sure how you use this. I assume you place it down and then you place some stuff in here and then you keep right clicking this uh, grind the handle right here. All right, so if I take my 15 cobblestone, um, I don't know how long I have to hold this. Oh, until it says that. I didn't realize this, but apparently, hmm, it takes quite a while between each, between like each thing. Not gonna lie, I thought it would be quicker than that. But so far it is quicker for me to place down the cobblestone and break it with my stone hammer. But it will still have a use though because I still have... Oh yeah, I'm cooking up silkworms because that is the only food source that I have available at the moment. Right, I already cooked up the ironing it. But if we were to go ahead and make a tin or a chunk and we place that in here and we grind it down 
like so. We will now get two tin dust, which each tin dust will result in one ingot. So we just doubled our tin uh, from that ore chunk right there. So unfortunately, too slow for the cobblestone in my opinion, but we can go ahead and now make this, the unfire crucible, which we can then put in this furnace, cook it up, and now if we take this fire crucible and we place it on top of a torch. Oh yeah, by the way, it also rains. So now all of these barrels are filled with water, which is really cool. Right, so if I take a torch right there and put the fired crucible up on top and then make a little something that we can stand on like this, because I believe I can then put cobblestone in this. And this should, it is very, very slowly converting the cobblestone, I believe, into lava. Yep, cobblestone turns into lava, it just takes a while. But here is the next painful task. I will now have to manually sieve all of this dirt into rocks, turn the rocks, into stone and this will be the final process once we have the cobblestone generator we will be able to, we don't have to do this process with the dirt anymore because then we get the cobblestone which we are trying to get we are doing with simply sieving this dirt in order to get the cobblestone so after we have the cobblestone generator we will be done using dirt on this sieve all right so i guess i am converting this cobblestone the good old-fashioned way with a stone Hammer. Actually, let us go to the minimap and let us remove the death point right here. We, we don't need to get reminded of that. We don't need to do that. But anyways, I will be back after converting all of this cobblestone, this cobblestone stack here, into gravel, which I will then convert into sand, which I will then convert into dust, which we will then convert into hopefully iron and redstone, which we will need to make the automatic cobblestone generator. All right, and after not too long, actually, I now have a stack of dust. It actually didn't take that long. I guess I, I should just stop complaining. Um, <laughs> but we do have our fire crucible over here where all the cobblestone have been converted into a bucket of lava. 1000 NB is basically one bucket. So when we get enough iron, we should be able to put it into a bucket. But now comes the job of saving all of this dust right here. What we are really after is iron ore chunks or what are they called? Or pieces okay so we want iron ore pieces and we want redstone so I'm gonna sit here and sift through all this dust and then I will be right back and the final piece boom all right what did we get 13 redstone dust in total I think I already had five so we got what six seven eight eight pieces of redstone that's not bad we have 12 iron ore pieces silver nickel lead tin gold as well and a bunch of bone meal and copper as well. Not a bad haul. All right, so I need to convert these into iron ore chunks and I can then crush these into iron dust and boom. I should say as well, by the way, if you have any tips or tricks uh, for me, do please let me know down below in the comments because yeah, there are most likely stuff that I don't know much about and that I could be doing a whole lot better. Anyways, I could go ahead now and take a water bucket and very soon I can now make a, another bucket and get the lava bucket. And we can also go ahead and make the redstone block. There, there. I'm kind of trying to form the, um, the, the machine right here in the inventory. And I can go ahead and make another bucket. Pick up this lava, hot stuff. And then I need one glass and then I need the 81 cobblestone. So the glass is simple enough. I just remembered, can I? <gasps> Why? Ah. Uh... I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Wait, can I? How far can this? Hold on. All the way. It, I. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I've been doing it so slow the entire time, and I forgot. I didn't. I didn't need the dust. Okay. Right. So I just place down. Wow. Why have I not thought of doing that before? I know we have the. Es I know the excavator mod is there. Ay ay ay. Oh yeah. By the way, when I died, I got this little fella. A statue of myself. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it there. 
All right, I'm having to make a little bit more dirt to get some more stone because we need that 81 cobblestone in order to make this. And I only have 30, so I need to make some more dirt, which I have done. And it is, yeah, but yeah, that should be plenty. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately I wasn't recording. I, I forgot I wasn't, uh, but I have made a bunch of these birch, uh, birch drawers, which is actually quite easy to make. Four chests and five planks, and you have four oak drawers. Holds eight stacks per drawer, and in this there are four, I believe. This is how it works. So in one block, there's basically space for four different items, and each little square here can hold, like it said, eight stacks. So that is really cool. So I'm starting to kind of slowly, like this one, we can actually move this chest right here, and this one I can also remove. And yeah, I can start getting this place looking a little bit neater. I had to do something while I'm waiting for this dirt to finish. And I have done a little bit of looking and it looks like what we want to start working towards is the thermal series. Because if we look here, the pulverizer, if we go to this page here, pulverizing uh, cobble and yeah, cobblestone, you could get gravel and sand and yeah, flint. Also cobbled dial right and stuff like that, which is really cool. But of course we would need to be generating energy for that. So getting into this industrial stuff seems to be what is going to be the easiest for us to do, which is why I have bookmarked two of these uh, books right here, Industrial Foregoing and the Thermopedia. So we can have those two guidebooks. Now I should say these drawers will not be 100% efficient because we will be getting a lot of these weird items. So getting towards getting refined storage up and running is going to be really, really beneficial. But again, yeah, this is gonna take, yeah, some work. And I have 86 cobblestone. I thought I had less than that, but that means we now have enough. So I think putting nine cobblestone makes, well, one compressed cobblestone. So if I just do this, I now have seven, and now I have nine, and if I combine these, I get this one compressed cobblestone, 81 cobblestone in one. And I think we have everything that we need now to be making this thing. And boom. Oh, and we get the buckets back, that's awesome. Right, where do I want to place this? I kind of want to maybe do some rework over here. Um. I'm thinking maybe putting it here? I assume we can move it. Let's place it here. Um, now what? I wonder if I need to have like a hopper underneath it. Well, obviously I would need a chest. Oh, it does. Okay, so it does need a hopper under it to feed the cobblestone into it. Okay. It's actually generating it at a pretty okay pace. Would you look at that? It looks like one per every two seconds or so. Yeah, that's not bad. And this is just tier one. We will be able with this, we will be able to upgrade to tier two pretty quickly because that's 729 cobblestone. That's not too bad. Well, that is a lot of stacks to be fair, but this right here and we, we already have that much. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, we now have automated cobblestone. All right, guys, so with the sun setting in the background, I think I will be calling this an episode. We did some really good progress here. We now have the cobblestone generator and we have looked into some more of the stuff. And yeah, we will be pretty soon, I think, going into the world of uh, thermal expansion or the thermal series that just looks like it's now called and industrial foregoing maybe. And yeah, further into the more automated and advanced stuff. In the next episode, I want to be making these. I also want to make some obsidian, maybe jump into the nether and see how that looks. I also bookmarked this rich soil because as it says, keeps nearby farmland damp without any water and we can actually make this. And since I have this many seeds, um, yeah, I think it will be beneficial to do so. And as soon as we can start getting into some of the more automated, uh, or industrial stuff, I should say. But this right here, it's, we already have a stack. Look at that. So really good progress has been done. If you have any tips or anything like that, please do let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down there, leave a like as well. And if you're new, consider subscribing. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.